Hello friend, my name is Kunal Kasih. This is a review video on a dual core Pentium processor, which is a third generation IBM dual core processor. Uh, model number is G2010. 2010 LGA 1155 socket number. This one is double core with double thread and uh, it's integrated. Graphic is too much impressive than the older Sandwich and IV Sandwich and uh, and the first generation dual core processors. It's far better than the first generation and quite better than the second generation. And this one is for the third generation dual core. Uh, uh, I give you why I am I am saying this is it. in the first generation. If you ever run in Windows 7 uh, rating test, uh, I get uh, in first generation. It uh, gives me around. Uh, on graphic 3D gaming graphic uh, rating is 3.5 in second generation uh, it goes to 5.8 and now in third generation dual code you will be able to watch on this uh, test run is 6.2 which is quite impressive as an integrated graphic With three year warranty. So let's unbox it. Big sink and fan included in this processor. So a stock fan and heat sink with already thermal paste over in three lines. You can able to watch. So there is no need to put uh, additional thermal paste on it. Here is the processor. This is our die, a small thing that do a lot of things for us. But we are there. Don't touch this person. Now you can able to work, watch for integrated graphics. Now some hardware work is noticeable over at the center. That's why you can notice on your rating or on performance. So please keep back in this pack till you are not going to place it don't place it at open otherwise you will be able to loss your hardware so in India it will cost you around 3300 rupees that means 3200 rupees which is not bad for those who play the mid-range game like uh, GTA or GTA that means and uh, Bitman 3, 2, 3, 4 
but not the five, the latest one. Uh, yeah, not good for those who browse the internet, uh, play a few games, and uh, watch movie as the movies. And you can do a lot of general work with this processor. There is no need to use the i3, i5, i7 if you are not going to convert a lot of video, a lot of video editing work, animation kind of work. So, if you are not going to do such kind of thing with your desktop, then there is no need to use it uh, or spend money over the i series processors. So, this is quite good for you. But thanks for watching. My name is Kunal Kosik, and um, if you like my video and my advice, then put like. If you don't like my video, put dislike. I will appreciate both of them. If you like my video too much, then subscribe my channel and uh, bye. Thank you for watching.